Okay, so in this problem, we're told a marble column of cross-sectional area 1.4 meters squared supports a mass of 25,000 kilograms. A, what is the stress within the column? And B, what is the strain? So first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So we can imagine we have this marble column here, and we know it's going to be supporting an object uh, with mass 25,000 kilograms. Uh, we're also given the cross-sectional area of it. So the area, right, you can imagine of just a circle inside of this column is 1.4 uh, meters squared. So starting with A, what we're going to be looking for is stress. And so the formula for stress is stress equals force over area. We also denote stress with the sim uh, symbol sigma, kind of looks like that. Uh, and so let's talk about how we're going to solve for this. So the force is going to be the force acting on our object here. In this case, it's the column, right? And we know the force acting on it is going to be the force as a result of gravity from this mass here, or from this object, OK? So we know that force acting on it, it's kind of hard to see, uh, is going to be equal to mg, right? The force due to gravity. So uh, the force here is going to be the mass of our object. Uh, and we know the mass is, or I'll just write it as mg. And then a is the cross-sectional area uh, of our object. So in this case, it's the column. We know the cross-sectional area. They give it to us is 1.4. So if we want to plug this in, uh, we know the mass is 25,000 kilograms. Right, G is uh, acceleration due to gravity. It's a constant, 9.8 meters per second uh, squared, right? Because we're assuming we're on Earth here. Uh, and then just plug in the cross-sectional area. And so uh, if you go ahead and plug this in, 25,000 times 9.8 divided by 1.4. So what you'll get is one, or basically 175,000, it looks like. Yeah, 175,000. Uh, and then the units for this, Right, realize what we're working with. So what we measure stress in, we have, right, so force is measured in newtons, okay? So this is in newtons. Uh, and area is just meters squared. So it's newton per meter squared. That's going to be the units. So our stress here, uh, 175,000 uh, newton, newtons per meter squared. Uh, you can rewrite it, though, if you'd like. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can say 1.8 times 10 to the 5 newtons per meter squared, right? This is our uh, symbol for stress. Uh, you can write it however you'd like. Um, but yeah, so uh, whatever your teacher wants you to do, just make sure you follow what they want you to do. But your stress or your answer to A is this value right here. So uh, 1.8 or 175,000, right? So whatever you want to write. Uh, let's do B now. So B, they're going to be asking for the strain, right? So they say, uh, what is the strain? So uh, in order to solve for strain, you need to know the formula for that, which is the strain is equal to the stress over uh, Young's modulus. So this is what we're looking for. Keep in mind, stress is what we just found in the last problem, right? The stress within our column, right? That's what they wanted uh, us to find. So yeah, what is the stress within the column? So uh, the stress within the column divided by Young's modulus. So Young modulus is a constant depending on the type of material. So we know that our column is made out of marble. So if you look in your textbook, uh, you can find the Young's modulus for uh, marble. So it's different for every material. But for marble here, it's 50 times 10 to the 9 uh, newtons per meter squared. So this is, again, just simple plugging it in. So we found it was 175,000 newtons per meter squared was our stress. And then Young's modulus, uh, if you look in the book, you'll get this value for marble, 50 times 10 to the 9 newtons per meter squared. So first thing you should notice is the units, they're going to cancel. Uh, strain is essentially unitless. Uh, but yeah, so 175,000 divided by 50 times 10 to the 9, what you're going to get is a strain equal to 3.5 times 10 to the minus 6. So keep in mind, there's no units for this. Uh, but yeah, so your strain is going to be equal to 3.5 times 10 to the minus 6. Uh, we'll probably just leave it like this is best. And then your answer for the first part was uh, 175,000 newtons per meter squared. Or you can just round like this. It doesn't really matter. Just do it how your teacher wants you to. Uh, and yeah, so the main takeaways for this problem are the stress equals the force. Uh, experienced by, right, the, or done by the object on our material, uh, divided by the area, which is the cross-sectional area, and then the formula for strain, which is the stress 
uh, over Young's modulus. Uh, but yeah, so these are going to be your answers. And uh, hopefully you found this uh, video useful.